You know, we're, we're going to talk about parathyroid hormone uh, this morning and some spin-offs from parathyroid. Osteoporosis, phosphates, and why do I call this the forgotten hormone in anti-aging medicine? And why is it so important to us in anti-aging medicine? Well, the symptoms of primary hyperparathyroidism overlap with complaints you hear from patients, at least I do, every day. How often do you have a patient where the problem is fatigue, cognitive problems? How often people are telling you their memory isn't what it was? Osteoporosis is common, gastrointestinal complaints. And of course, there's lots of causes for these complaints, but you've got to think about primary hyperparathyroidism. And the way medicine has evolved in the past 10, 20 years, we have become the experts in advanced endocrine optimization. The old endocrine model of, if you were in the reference range, you're okay. If your lab tests are normal for age, if your testosterone is normal for age, you're okay. If your thyroid is somewhat in that big reference range, you're okay. But we've learned, to the betterment of our patients' lives, that just being in the reference range isn't okay. You want to be optimal. And so, who's going to optimize parathyroid hormone? You are. And then there's some fascinating functional medicine connections with lifestyle, with nutrition. So we'll see if we can put this together. Now, high parathyroid hormone, even within the normal range, is an independent predictor of everything bad, of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. And so since we're having a baseline panel typically, and taking a look at all the hormones in our patient's profile, let's take a look at parathyroid hormone as well. Let's measure it. And if it is in the high end of the reference range, again, conventional concept is, oh, that's okay, but we know it's not. Well, let's try to optimize it. Now, we've become the vitamin D experts, and of course, for the past 10, 15, 20 years, we've been talking about optimizing vitamin D right here. Medicine slowly catching up, fortunately, and that's going to help millions of people's lives. We'll take a look at the connection, and we'll take a look at the phosphorus and parathyroid hormone connection. So here's some patients. We'll kind of present at the beginning and then come back to at the end. First one's a 59-year-old woman, cognitive dysfunction, anxiety. She has a very thorough workup. She's even positive for the APOE allele uh, times two. And so the concept is, well, gee, she probably has early Alzheimer's. And she's treated with hormone optimization, good, and various uh, nutraceutical brain boosters. Uh, her adrenal fatigue is addressed, but she's about the same. Another patient we'll come back to at the end. 50-year-old man with chronic abdominal pain. His lab is pretty normal. Calcium, well, that's kind of the high side of normal. Vitamin D, very top of the range. And he's got some stones in the kidneys, but no hydronephrosis or ureteral stones. He's on some prescription meds, and he's worked up, and he's getting plenty of he's getting vitamin D, and, and his digestive problems are being addressed with a functional approach. Um, he's still about the same. Okay. So the parathyroid, you know, this is the last endocrine gland to be discovered. Maybe there are some more that are not discovered yet. So there are four glands posterior to the thyroid, and there's two types of cells. The chief cells, or principal cells, that make parathyroid hormone, and oxyphil cells, which are there with no known function. So come up with your theory. They must do something. I don't know what they do. Now, parathyroid hormone is a peptide, 84 amino acids long, and the idea is to regulate calcium, so it's osteoclastic takes calcium out of the bones, causes more calcium to be reabsorbed in the kidneys. It converts calcidiol, the 25-hydroxy-D3, to calcitriol, the 1,25-dihydroxy, the activated vitamin D, and stimulates GI absorption of calcium. So those, those are all the different mechanisms of parathyroid hormone increasing calcium. If the parathyroid glands sense low calcium, the hormone's turned on, and it's got a very short half-life. So low concentration of calcium, calcium out of bones, it's held onto in the kidneys, and enhanced absorption from the intestines.